All right, folks. All right, folks. Get the lighting and brightness cranked up. Boy, that was a learning experience the first time on Modern Horizons. On the collector box. Boy, that was some crazy lighting camera. The camera doesn't even know how to handle these different types of foiling. The lighting, the reflections is a disaster. So today, our first out of maybe about 20 videos over the next month here, we're going to do on the Modern Horizons draft box opening. I don't. I'm late to the party as always. But, and this is for my patron, Vince. You're starting off here. Um, before we get into it, can we take a moment and comment on what is going on with the wrapping lately? Look at these. Like, why are... Like, even even the clear wrapping on new Wizards products just isn't even consistent anymore. Like, sometimes they're loose. Sometimes they have... Look at this. Look at all these boxes. Like, look at this stuff. Like, I mean, I've been talking about this with a lot of patrons lately. And, like, the quality of even, like, the clear wrapping has gone down. Like, what? Like, seriously. And I know people are saying, Rudy, who cares? You're just throwing it away. I mean, it's a, it's just, it blows my mind. It blows my mind. Okay. So here we are. We got lighting cranked up today to see if the camera can handle the weird etched, I don't know, retro colors and foil. We're going to see how it goes today. But yeah, it looks like the really bright lighting is going to be a lot better approach here. So this is my first draft box opening. We're going to be doing a lot of draft box openings here versus the super expensive collectors because, number one, um, I think this is, wait, hold on a second, wait, one uncommon, two uncommon, three uncommon. Okay, the fourth uncommon has a Legends logo like Masters 25. And then Harvest Hand is a rare, okay, that's strange. So is there one legendary uncommon, is that what it is? Tribal, oh, there's a Logroyf uncommon. That's strange, why was there four uncommons there? Three uncommons and one with a logo? Okay, so I want to really see, oh my god, isn't that confusing? You open a pack and you see it like a ripped car like that. Oh my god, it drives me crazy. Alright, so I want to see. I've been hearing all kinds of rumors and shenanigans about the pull rates of the draft boxes. Okay, so the bright lighting is a lot better on this box opening. The, the, the camera is doing a lot better. So you can obviously get the sketch cards. Alright, Cursed Totem. Pretty neat looking little thing. And, okay, so you, there's definitely... So you get a rare and a mythic in a pack? Archon of Cruelty, mythic number one. Okay. So I've been getting feedback from other individuals saying that the boxes that you crack are either a bunch of fetch lands or you get a bunch of good like um, like rares and mythics. But it doesn't seem to overlap. That's what I've been hearing. I don't know if there's any truth to that. All right. So why do you get a fourth uncommon and some? That's driving me crazy. I'm going to have to figure that out there. Urza Saga in our first foil common in the box for the foil pile. The infamous Urza Saga card. Very cool. Okay, so we're getting some good pulls right out of the gate here. Yeah, so the draft boxes are supposed to be readily available. Oh, and you can get a retro frame common in the middle of the commons. Okay, and the etched card, or the sketch cards. Okay, so each slot has ran... Okay, so I guess I'm going to have to kind of skim through that. I didn't realize that. Colors look fantastic on these cards, too. So this one's three uncommons. Holy smokes, holy smokes. So is every pack two rares? Okay, so we got a Mythic Titania Protector. That looks stunningly beautiful for Mythic number two, Borderless, Full Art, whatever, Showcase, and an Ooze. So is this one of those things where it's like you get 36 packs, but you're actually getting like 50 packs worth of rares and stuff? Like, is that, is that what we're turning into here? All right, so four uncommons. And that's a Vision. It's got the Visions logo. And Fury for another Mythic. Boy, coloring is bold. Beautiful colors. All right. I am very, very confused right now. This is, I swear, I think half the people watch my box opening because they just like to see Rudy get completely confused on this stuff. And uh, I'm very, very impressed by the coloring, though, on these regular draft boxes and the regular cards look beautiful. Ah, uh, the Chainer Nightmare Adept. And a, ch a Chitter Spitter? What is that? Is that like a machine that chucks acorns? Okay, that's, that's kind of good. I do like the squirrel theme. I think the squirrel theme is uh, pretty cool. It's definitely a lot of fun. I think that's pretty neat. I definitely uh, not upset to see that. So, all right, so you get one. Is there one? Oh, two. I was like, how many throwback cards do you get in each slot? All right, it's Barb Spike. So there's a, okay, and a sketch card. Four uncom. So you get three and always like one commander related one. All right, and another mythic. Jeez. Squirrel General Mythic this time. We're at four Mythics. How are we at four Mythics in like six booster packs? Like really? Okay. Is this normal? I thought I said Cabal Coffers there for a second. 
Uh, Alright, so throwback card there. Alright, so one uncommon, two uncommon, three uncommon, fourth uncommon has the logo for throwback, <laughs> Milliken, Odyssey, and suspend for our rare, and a foil battle plan common. Alright, interesting. So there's definitely, so what is this thing in the back? Alright, draft archetypes. Oh, okay. Why are they? That's interesting. Alright, I love, God, leave the cards look great though. God, look how beautiful that bridge looks. Oh my goodness, they look fantastic. I love the squirrel action. Alright, one uncommon. Ah, the tour. Ooh, that is a neat looking card. That retro frame. Wow. Alright, collector. Ah, braids. That artwork drives me crazy. And glimmer wasp. So why? Okay, so is it because they're both legendary? Like, why do you get wire packs? Like, I'm so confused. Everyone in the comment section is probably going nuts right now, and I'm like the only one that's not lens flare. Nice little sketch. So that's one sketch, another bridge. Ooh, Underworld, God, that cookbook looks so nice. Holy smokes, Uncommon, Hermit, Fourth Uncommon, Scourge, and an Unmarked Grave for a single rare pack. All right, so again, zero fetch lands. I'm apparently a fetch land repellent guy. So one retro frame, two retro frames in that one. And then Uncommon is one, two, three, and then, ooh, Shardless Agent. There's a classic Cascade card. And Sea and Sky, and a foil, oh, look at this. Sea and Sky and a retro flint. That looks epic with that Seb McKimmon art. Holy smokes. Why do we have five Mythics? Like, in a couple, in like a third of the box, you get five Mythics? It's going to be a 15 Mythic box. One sketch. All right, and all right, one sketch card, a Binding Grace, ha, uh, Brainstone Throwback, Mystic, Sea Drake. Okay, so there's definitely four uncommons each pack, and a nice Void Walker there. All right, so that's the first 12 packs of the box. We ended up with five Mythics and zero fetches. All right, that's very strange. Creeper, Chrysalis, Steel, there's a Flame Rift, and we got the old Blast there for the rare. I'm not really going to focus, on, I'm just more, I'm not really talking about the financial value. I started checking the card prices before this video, but they're so volatile right now. I, I don't think that's really relevant until we really see how everything settles. Hey, Vindicate there. So the Vindicate is the one with the logo. So that one only had three uncommons. So this time, this was a, okay, so I think I'm starting to get it here. This reminds me of Masters 25. So the products that have the set logo is either an uncommon or a bonus rare. And that is a monster Elder Dragon. Holy smokes. Peru! The volatile one, huh? That is a mo Okay. So I'm starting to get it there. So essentially, there's some sort of throwback or some sort of stamped slot there. Is what it looks... Whoa! A little off-centered to the bottom there. Alright. Power Depot for the first uncommon. The second uncommon. Batter Bone for three uncommon. Ah, Bone. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting it now. So the fourth card here was the uncommon Urza's Legacy Bone Shredder. So this will be a single rare or a really nice, holy smokes, foil uncommon Sword of Hearth and Home. So this is one of the new swords, huh? I have not seen that. Uh, I don't know. I'm always, you know, teenage young Rudy. I, I really do like the, the the concept of swords. I always, I don't know. It, it's it just it hits to the old uh, teenage young childhood of the the swords and the, the you know. Boulder's Gate and Diablo games and the weapons. I always like that stuff. Titan, Strider. Ah, Mistress Factory from Antiquity. Okay, so that's the fourth one. So it'll be a single rare pack. So this is the new High Arc, huh? Instead of Noble High Arc, we've got a new High Arc with some different color combinations. That's, you know, I always wondered if there was going to be a bunch of different High Arcs with all kinds of different color combinations. I always wondered that. So that gets and answers that question. That is definitely on the table. All right, so we got a Vial, Old Frame. And then, so that's, ooh, Timeless Witness. All right, so our fourth is an uncommon. So single, hey, a misty rainforest. Finally, our first fetch land of the box. So there we go. We're at it. Okay, that's really how are mythics? How do you get six mythics but only one rare of a fetch land? Doesn't that seem weird to anybody? Does that not seem just completely bizarre that you can get that many mythics but it's difficult to get the rare that's really good? Three and oh, enchantress pres. Beautiful card. Ah. Oh. So it persists. Okay, so I get it now. Finally figured it out here. So essentially the ones with the logo in the bottom, there's an, listen, it's an Onslaught logo. That can either be uncommon or rare. Okay, so that's how you end up getting a double rare pack or a double mythic or whatever it may be. Very interesting. It's like, kind of like the, the list slot, I guess. It's kind of weird, huh? All right. And seal of removal. Ooh, and it persists. So our very first sketch card rare. 
Okay. Hmm. Well, this is a pretty interesting learning curve video, ladies and gentlemen. This is definitely Sweep Sanctuary. Constable and a Fire Ice is a first rare, and the second is Master of Death with a Foil Common. Master of Death. Surveil 2. I don't even know what Surveil is. I mean, okay. Man, old guy Rudy. Some of this stuff, I really... Holy cow, magic is just... I'm not going to be all old guy. Oh, magic's lost its way. But it's definitely different, man. Gloves. Uh, auger. Yeah, <laughs> extruder from Urza's Destiny. And the Murktide Regent. Okay. Seven mythics in a single box opening. But only one fetch land. Yeah, not suspicious at all. Nope, not suspicious at all. Squirrel, Tide. Hey, the Wake, finally. Okay, look at this pack. A flippin' wake here and a blood raid marauder. So we are now at eight mythics in this box opening in one fetch land. How is the mythic rare not feel rare? That's so bizarre. Lucid, spiked, chancellor. Ooh, beautiful Miss Ranger from Visions. Hey, Aaron Mesa coming through. Finally, beautiful. So two fetch lands. God, you get a lot of value. And even in the regular draft box. My god. Goodness, the amount of cards of value. That's why I haven't mentioned the prices, because there's no way this stuff holds. Fractured Sanity, very cool card. I mean, do you... Let me rephrase that. I don't know how I feel about mill decks, all right? I remember back in the day, the millstone decks and all the mill things, and draw a discard and the milling your opponent to zero, get rid of all their cards and just make him auto that alternate win condition thing. I, you know, I've, I've played some Magic Arena... Yeah, I know. Ooh, Zeron Urm from Ice Age. Holy crap, that's nice looking. Okay, and a Charma. Holy smokes, what the hell is this? Wow. Sylvan Sea and Sky. This is a retro foil that is not etched. That is a gorgeous. Holy crap. I was going to comment that I haven't seen any etched cards, and I haven't, I didn't know if you could even get the retro foil. I wasn't sure what combinations are possible, so I'm still kind of taking a look at it. But anyway, I just want to finish my rant about uh, <laughs> Squirrel Mob. I remember that. And of course, General Ferocious. I don't know how, I, I used to think mill decks were neat, but I've seen on Arena some of these new mill decks that are absolutely out of control. I, I don't know how I feel about them anymore. Just want to lay that out there. Blazing Monoskillion. Some Oak. Hunting pack and a rise and shine and a foil. Okay, so you can't. I wasn't sure what variants you can get. I can't believe we got that sea and sky. Holy smoke! A a retro framed mythic foil. Jeez Louise. Okay, uh, the cookbook. Zeron. Ah, that Zeron orb looks so nice. Sylvan anthem. Very cool. And a foil common. See, I wasn't so so far. I have seen zero etched cards. Are etch cards, can you even get etch cards in the draft box? Or is that something that's not even possible to obtain? I'm starting to wonder that now. And Goblin Bombardment. I remember you from Tempest. And we got ourselves the Lotus. Cryptozoologist. Wait, is this a MetaZoo card? Cryptozoologist? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I know. I know. A little too much fun sometimes. That's my, my fault. My fault, folks. All right. Here we go into the Soul Snare. Ooh, Scion of Drake. I do not know what that is. Scion of a 12 drop with domain. Two less to cast for each basic land among type. Oh, basic land type among lands you control. All right. Each creature you control has vigilance if it's white. Oh, wait. Each creature gets vigilance if it's white. Hexproof is blue. Lifelink is blue. Holy cow. Okay, that's that's got some shenanigans. That is a monster casting cost. Even if you get a reduction on that, that's a, still a big number. Okay. Okay. Towards the end of the video here, folks, uh, Larry Nevin's disc for the basic. Ooh, Priest of... Who is this young lady? Priest with some crazy fire with giant elks with hard things sticking on their head? Seems kind of... Seems a little spicy. All right, folks, last couple packs of the box here. Vince, I don't know if this is considered a dumpster fire box or a good box, but definitely a hell of a learning experience. Uh, oh, that's interesting about the... Like, these... I haven't seen the logos in the sets like this since Masters 25. Thought Monitor, and, okay, and a Foil Blood Braid Marauder. And we are down to the last, oh, we got four packs left. I'm sorry, I thought there was only one or two packs left. 
Never mind, we got a couple packs left. We'll see if we hit another fetching. What are we, two fetch? Two fetches. Let's see if we can get that a little higher here. Let's see if we can get a little rise and shine. See Drake, and I have no idea what this is. A Synthus Harvest Hand. That sketch thing is neat. You know, it, the sketch thing has got a fun vibe to it. You know, it really does. I, I think it's neat. It's a nice little, it's kind of bizarre. Some of them look better than others, but it's a nice little, I don't know. It's just a nice change of pace. It is. It's a nice little touch. Profane, oh, we got a tutor. Profane tutor. Not the most expensive tutor, but hey, we got a tutor. Hey, a tutor is a tutor. When a tutor is not a tutor, you still need a tutor. You know, not a bad card. All right, here we go. Upheaval and Timeless Dragon. Okay, double rare and a nice lightning spear. Foil common. Last pack of the box. I'll ramble for a minute and then we'll move on with our life, everybody. Not too bad. Um, so I guess we're ending on a solid Gorilla Shaman in the card that just says damn. <laughs> so overall, I we have not been. So this is my this is my first draft box. We did a collector box. Um, two fetch lands. Uh, but I guess the takeaway to me is not the fetch lands. The takeaway of this box opening is holy smokes, four, eight, nine, a 10 mythic box in 36 packs. Wow. So not only that, if you look at the data here, this is very fascinating here because this really skews and distorts the expected value probably a lot higher than people realize. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 28, 29, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 30. Okay, hold on. So see the amount. 39 rares plus the fetchies. That's 41 rares. Okay. Plus one foil rare. What do we any more? One foil rare. That's 42. And then, of course, you have the 3-5, you have 10 Mythics. That's 52 Rares and Mythics in a 36-pack box. Okay. I don't even know if the expected value is understanding or calculating this correctly, but that's that's a lot to take in. That's what she said. I, I don't know. I'm going to let this settle.